Oh, oh. Yeah, the sink. And the... What's going on, guys? Uh, so we're here for T3G along with Full Throttle. And uh, we're, we're a little late for last week. A little week. late. La last, yeah, last week. But we're going to do some show review, show talk, whatever. Um, and I want to start with the finale. Let's talk about Walking Dead. Yeah, man, I even forgot that we didn't do it last week. <laughs> I thought, for some reason, I was thinking it was last week. Um, yeah, man, um, I don't know. I told you, you asked me, because you mm -hmm. didn't watch it. After, it took you a little while when mm -hmm. I watched it and when you watched it. So you were like, was it good? And I said, there's been better, right? And, and that's true. And it's true. Was it bad? No, I don't think it was bad. I just wanted a little more. I don't know why, but I just I wanted more. I wanted... Those guys with the zombies, I wanted to see them more involved. You know what I'm saying? Like somehow make a little bigger impact the than, just, than just showing them, oh, we're going to just toss these uh, zombies back in with this music and that's, you know, that's us. And the I wolves. slit this yeah. guy's throat. They're, they're I kind of wished for more of that. I definitely have to agree. That was that definitely seemed like it was a little rushed. Like they had sprinkled the W around the whole season. For a while, yeah. And then, and then they just kind of threw them in this episode like boom, boom, boom. This is what they are. They kind of, I guess they're kind of like the ultimate looters. I yeah, guess. something. They like just like that. they like trick guys into getting their stuff. Right, like every week they meet somebody and they kill them or some crap like that. So, yeah, so. <laughs> they like they have their own show where every week they just like trap a guy and take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different series. That's a different series. <laughs> That's like the Stalking Dead. But I mean, overall, I mean. Um, Morgan coming in was awesome. Seeing Daryl's like face that, when he when he so, saw the message so long. that did take they so took long. They took so long with that, and then really, I feel like they threw a bunch of stuff in this episode that like they forgot about. <laughs> I wouldn't say they forgot, but they. I don't think they. Um, it feels like not a, like I don't. I shouldn't say I don't think, but it feels like like they they were like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna expand this, and we're gonna keep waiting until, and then they were like, oh shit. We got to make it a ninety-minute episode because we got a lot to throw in. Right, because it was so, like if you let's say if you take out the wolf stuff and the the Morgan stuff, it didn't have to be ninety minutes. Right, exactly. So it would have been a regular episode, but they were like, "Oh, we actually have to finish the story somehow." Right, and so I like what happened with Rick. I like the overall yeah. what happened with yeah, Rick. I liked. I enjoyed it because um, I, I was really kind of thinking it was going to go a different way, and then it was like, "Oh, some dumbass left the door open." And now I've got to handle business. Now, personally, I would have just started hollering walkers. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Because <laughs> he doesn't know if two came in or, sure. two or 20, you know? Sure, absolutely. But, you know, Rick. I mean, But he is Rick. So. He is Rick. He's already been through this. He can probably take on 20 on his own. Um, I, I agree. I like everything that went on with Rick. I love the fact that he, hey, you know, zombies were out here. I just killed a few. Uh, then the um, idiot husband comes in, accidentally slices the throat, and guess what? It's time to shoot somebody in the face. And I'm glad. You know what? It took time because Rick's known this. This is what happens, mm -hmm. period. That's it. No, There's no discussion. There's no what if. This is what happens. This is the world we're in. This is what happens. And you know what? It just happened. And that, she's, exactly. she gave him the okay. And that's I, I'm glad she did, too, because uh, Eric and I were talking about that sh they might not know. They might not have ever seen someone right, turn. Right. So they might not know that you have to kill him. Right. But then she looked up at him. She's like, do it. And right. she was kind of mad about it. And there was just like a whole lot of emotion in her face. So th that was executed very well by the actress. Yeah. And I really think it, it, that that whole exchange ended really well. Oh, yeah. However, the whole like he walks in, Rick, like he's shocked that this has happened. Like it, it That's just, interesting. that upsets me. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm just going to be like, the rest of this conversation goes like, Dude, why'd you kill that guy? And, and Rick would come back with, when'd you become a ninja? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, did you watch Talking Dead? No. Okay, so he was on Talking Dead. Mm -hmm. He was the special guest because he's never <laughs> been on. Sure. And uh, he does say that there is a backstory to how what he is and how he is, the fact that he's more stable. Because last time we saw him, he wasn't stable. He was kind of nuts. He was a little nutso. So Well, not last time, but the, the last time we saw an episode with him. Right, right. One episode where him and Rick are interacting. Sure. Right. Um, so he, I, according to the actor, uh, he is, there's been something that's been going on with him and that's why he's able to do what he's doing with the stick and also as well, why he's more calm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, uh, and, he had that and moment where he's like, every life is precious. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 absolutely. I was like, and we're, and we're going to learn 
more according to Talking Dead, or at least from what was kind of given, you know, obviously not ruining anything sure. for anybody. Um, they mentioned that we will see more <coughs> of what's going on with Morgan. So, Good. I mean, and, that's, and that's what's the idea. happened. And what's happened. Now, maybe because he remembers Rick as not so violent. Let's be serious, because the last time they met, he was the he was the nutso, and Rick was still calm. That's right, because Rick, Rick was, Rick was uh, I want to say that was when... They had the prison, and they I think the prison they were searching they were... for food and stuff like that, yeah. and they went really far away from the prison. And they had the prison, but that was when he was all like, well, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna plow and, and you know plant stuff instead right. of hunting. Yeah, 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 um, yeah exactly. I think that's kind of where... Exactly. So yeah, I can see that, where that, that, that mentality switch happened. And, uh, you know, I think that's going to be an interesting conversation, an interesting exchange. Oh, yeah. uh, I like what happened with, um, I always forget his name, but the the preacher. I, yeah, li- I the like preacher. what I like what happened to him. Like, I like the fact that they finally all sat down. Sasha's getting the help she needs. He's getting the help she he needs. But what I didn't like was that, I, that, that you finally find out that, like, the whole reason he's lost his mind is still... Because of those original people well, he, that he condemned. Like, that's still on his head. And I'm like, you've gone through some other stuff now that you should easily... Like, if that if something was going to scar you, right. this should be the thing. Well, the thing is, is I agree. And this I, I can understand it because I was thinking that's what it was still was. But at the same time, I was like, maybe this is who he is. This is that little thing that everybody's looking for. Like, he is a coward and he will betray anybody that's around him. Like, he did with the people at the village mm-hmm. and now with Rick's family. Self-preservation, yeah. So, yeah. And... His, his sense of self-preservation is extremely high. Oh, yeah. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I thought he was done for. Right? He was like, take me. And I'm like, all right, all right this is about to happen. Buddy. I will say this. As much <laughs> as I like that actor, and clearly he's doing a great job with that mm-hmm. a- a character because he's making me want to hate him even more. Uh, I hope Rick shoots him in the face. I don't. He's not going to. He's not <laughs> I, going I don't to. think he will, but I think they will let him go. Gabriel. Gabriel. That's what his name Gabriel, is. Gabriel, yeah. I think they will let him go, though. Let him, like, leave? Yeah, I think they're going to ask him to leave. I don't think so. No? I don't think so because nothing really happened. He didn't, like, officially, he didn't do anything. Yeah. Him, him, and Sasha had a thing, but, now but that's because they're now, both kind of in a. Re- but now everybody knows that he did talk badly about Rick's group, and all the the group knows that now. Right, but but um. Although even Maggie though Maggie, was there, Maggie yeah, was even, there. She even heard though it. Maggie went over there and like sat down with them in a circle, that was I don't know because Maggie I felt like that was a little too much. I don't think so. No, because uh, she she's from a religious household. I guess that's you true. know she's from she's from that's you true. know yeah that kind of household. So she brought him there. Sasha needed something, some sort of guidance. So that's kind of where that that little triumvirate I happened, you. you know. So I think that that really resolved itself. Excellent. Um, I like the fact that uh, Michonne strapped on. Yeah. At the end. At the end. Ooh, yeah. She. Well, yeah. She. Ah. Uh, like I'm, that was perfect because she was like, "I don't need this here," but then. She put it back on, realizing that she does need well, it. Well, that's the thing. That's and the that thing. was jacked up. I think... He's like, so oh, Rick, I'm going to do something. So here's slice. the thing. Rick, everybody thought he was, you know, going a little too far with it because, you know, they all felt safe. But that was the problem. And I think Michonne finally realized, you know what? As safe as this feels, yeah. this sword needs to be it's, on it's a, It's a false sense of safety. Exactly. It's exactly. a false sense of safety. Because you're still in a crappy world. It's yeah. just, yeah. you know, I mean, you're in a safer day, place. At the end of the day... Something bad could happen exactly. because you don't know exactly. what else is out there. Like with these wolves guys, these guys are going to be a problem. Oh, God, they're yeah. definitely going to be a huge well. This problem, is basically and that's probably going to be the terminus of next first half. Exactly, of the season. I, I see the wolves being governor and terminus put together. Yeah, something along basically because yeah. I mean with terminus they were kind of like hurting people in. Where these guys are going to be more spread out, so right. like the governor, where he was always. But even with to that go, place, it's like this is clearly like oh, you know, choice, choice oh, pickings, yeah, 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 and yeah. it's like we bring you in, and now we get your stuff. Right, right. And well, yeah, I thought, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of like a, a really wasteful mentality. I really. Well, the know, thing is, I want to know more about them and like what well, the, makes them do. The well, I've seen this before. I think either on The Walking Dead or a different show where they say, you know. We don't. It was on a different show. It was the uh, Z Nation or Nation Z or whatever it is, the other zombie show that's on Sci-Fi. Okay. Uh, there was a camp mm-hmm. uh, in one of the episodes, and same thing. They said you leave your guns here because we don't want any accidental deaths or something like that. So you leave them here because you're safe in here. There's no reason to have a gun. Once you go outside, you get your guns back. So it's it's it makes sense, 
uh, it's just, it's more of a, in my opinion, delusional thinking in that situation. Yes, are you in a safer place? Yeah, that doesn't mean shit can't happen. So Exactly, exactly. I mean, can, granted, can shit happen in the real world, you know, in our world? Yeah, but it's more likely in a zombie-infested world than our world. So. Sure. Um, but overall, I, uh, Chris Harris or whatever his name is, the guy for Talking Dead. Uh, I always forget his name. I know it's Chris. Oh, and I, and I knew it before. Yeah. Well, Chris. regardless, he said it was the best season finale ever. I disagree. Hardwick. Chris Hardwick. Hardwick. I disagree with you. He said Chris. it was the best episode of the series? Of, the, of, of this series, it was the best finale. I disagree. I disagree. Um, finale? Maybe. No, I disagree. Maybe. No, I disagree. Um, maybe. No, I disagree. Because, I mean, look, look last season it was what? The... Terminus. Ter- Terminus. Right. Um, where they get caught. And they where go, they get caught, yeah. right? So Looks they get at caught. the camera and they don't know who they're messing with. Which was... Eh. No, I actually really didn't like the ending of that. Well, honestly, the only thing I wanted out of that ending, this was before I started growing on uh, Carl... I wanted Carl to get shot right in front of Rick while he was going up the ramp. That would have been jacked up. Like right, like Rick's looking. But that outside that would have messed up a whole Carl lot of other this. stuff. Yeah. No, that... absolutely, absolutely. But I'm just saying that's that's kind of what I was expecting because how slow they were going, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my god, they're gonna do it right here, but they didn't. Yeah, so they did set it up. It was more, gonna, was but it was. Happen. I mean, still for a season finale for that with Terminus. I mean, this they is five, they just came. So yeah. one, the end of one was. The end of one. I can't remember, man. This is I'm no, not gonna this lie. This is no longer a democracy. Was that one? I think that was one. No, one was. Uh, I was going to say one was. Uh, that's the right. CDC. One was was the CDC. It that's was right. like, oh, everyone's infected. Next, like that's it. That's right. Because one, one was right. a short season. Yeah. Uh, two was this is no, no longer the, democracy. Two is no longer democracy. Which was four All right. was terminus. What was three? Three was when Herschel's house burns down. I think. Yeah. Man, did the governor stuff all happen in one season? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Wow. I think so. Maybe we're just crazy and we don't remember right. Yeah. But anyway, I, I think it was a good episode. Uh, maybe not the best best. Um, I think you're right. If, if the, I don't think it was the best. I think maybe if if, if you're right in the, the Herschel's house burning down was the season finale, that would definitely be better for me because yeah. that episode was crazy. Yeah, I, um, I'm almost certain it was. I'm Wait, almost certain, if, but I can't If it can't was, remember. that's the best one, I think. Overall, I think it was a good episode. Yeah. I, I liked it. Yeah. I liked the finale of it. Yeah. Um, like I said, I just wished a little more with the walls, but otherwise it was a good episode. Yeah. It was a good finale. What What do you think of the, the Walking Dead finale? I loved it. There you go. She loved um, it. Hold on. <laughs> Love you guys. The oven's on. I know. I want to make the... The tuna. Oh, hey. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but we match. Right? Um, I really liked the Walking <laughs> Dead episode. Uh, I thought it kind of went the way that I thought it was going to. I figured what was going to happen was going to happen, but they did it in a way that it still kept it kind of fresh. Mm-hmm. Um, they said it was going to be 90 minutes, was it? I mm-hmm. thought it, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I saw some meme that was joking about it maybe not being 90 minutes. I mean, it was it was I ninety mean, minutes on TV. On TV, um, right? Yeah. Minus the so commercials. So they added like three more commercials. <laughs> yeah, I mean Basically. they have to. Uh, they have to. You got to pay for that extra half hour. I mean, I I really like the way Carol. Sorry, I'm taking my shoes off. I went to the gym. Um, I really like the way that Carol is a complete badass and flying under the radar with that. She was super yeah. creepy in that episode. She's, she's like, like, like all like, oh, like you know, people like us. Like she's a freaking victim. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, no. And I love it. I was reading, one of my friends posted about something, or I saw something where they were even talking about how, like, as soon as Deanna is the mayor or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Like, when Deanna's husband was dying, Carol kind of had a smirk on her face, like, yeah, we knew this was going to happen. We got them now. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. But I by this point, I'm kind of still surprised. What What's the crappy husband's name? The new crappy husband? Well, he's dead, so it doesn't really matter. He's not dead. No, no, the, the abusive husband. He got no. shot. No, no. The, the 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 her husband Deanna's got shot husband. because he he was gonna turn. No, that was tr- the whole point. Deanna's... No, Rick turned around. He was facing Morgan, the dead husband that was had his split throat was not facing Morgan. But That's he Deanna's was be- no, but throat. he was behind 
he was behind them, so he was in front of him regardless. Well, maybe you, we don't. You're gonna, you should wait, watch that again. No, no wait, wait, wait. you're wrong. We didn't see him nope. shoot Deanna's husband, though, so we don't know who he shot for sure. I mean, technically, but I would say he shot the husband. I would too. No, she wanted a guy dead. Yeah, the, the abusive husband got shot, not the guy that got what? his. No. Watch it. When he strikes him, he's behind Rick next to where Morgan's coming up. He, the other husband's fate by the group. He turned around to see Morgan, yeah. No, he was facing Morgan after he shot him. He looks up, and there's Morgan. Um, I don't know. I didn't pay attention. It's okay, I guys. They don't pay though. attention. Yeah, he yeah. shot the guy. I disagree. Uh, Watch it again. He straight up shot the guy. Maybe that's so. That's what she was angry then. Yeah, she was angry at the guy slitting her husband's throat. She said, do it. Like, shoot the guy. Well, we thought that she was saying that because no, no, Deanna actually no. kind of... Because like, Rick even... told her he was going to kill him okay. if he didn't stop. And then he slit his throat. Guess what? He's dead. Because she did he, say, she... like, what did she say? She said, do it. like, do it or you she know said, what to do. It. do. No, do she it she with said, anger. Do it. Yeah. She just said, do it. Yeah, yeah. with anger. She you said, turn Rick, around and shot right. him. Turn around mm. and shot him. Uh, wow, Layers I didn't. Of the onion. I didn't see that. I didn't see. Turned that. around and shot him, and then looked up, and there's Morgan. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. Well, and then we have. I, I'm. It's interesting because we have. Uh, oh, I can't remember anyone's name. Glenn didn't kill the dude. By this point, he should have. Oh my god, I would have killed that dude seventeen times. Yeah. <laughs> there wouldn't even no. There would be no explanation needed for he that. He wouldn't even have had a chance to get over the fence. Or mm -hmm. out of the fence, whatever he was doing. Oh, and who leaves a freaking gate to some dude you don't know? You already don't trust these people, and then you're like, "Hey, dude, I but don't trust." But that's the trust. thing; they Here's do trust gate. him because they uh, left him strawberries. That's the problem. And why did he's nobody a preacher. ever say? Not even once. Not even once. Nobody was like, "He's like, oh, these people are gonna turn on you." And not a single person was like, "Um, he locked his entire flock out of his church." Not a single person. They're just like, "No, I don't agree with him. He is wrong." Yeah, but uh, <laughs> they're not. See, but that's the that's thing. Not Rick's the group the is, is not what. That anyways yeah they, they're they're above that because it's not about what you did to survive it's not about what you did it's not about what you've done in the past right it's about what you're doing no now. No, yeah. no no i don't agree with that i think that okay i you you have that's why we, they didn't tell no, them. we haven't because we haven't seen this group uh attack helpless people so it, it's not about what you do to survive like have they hurt people have they killed people yes people that were a direct threat to them right i don't feel that his congregation was a direct threat to like he locked them out like that yeah. was a totally selfish move it wasn't like they were trying to kill him and so he locked them out sure. or they were trying to take over his church so i, he I understand he just, no this is completely different i understand what you're saying but yeah, that's not but the point that's the group Rick's group would have never brought that up because they, they don't. They don't care. Up. They doesn't matter. You're you're telling crap about us. They're gonna tell you why they're not a threat, not why he's a threat. They don't care. I think that you don't bring it up like when they came to the community. You don't bring it up as like, hey, by the way, this guy did this thing. But, but that's the thing. They're not gonna point. Know. They're not pointing and, and fingers. And they didn't this have to because situation. because the one woman said. But he's not here to, to, right. you know, to, to speak up for that. Right. So you're just saying, right. you're just telling us what someone yeah. told you. No, they don't and, need to. You know, they didn't have to say anything. But they would never, the, the thing is, that group is different than that. They would never, they would never yeah. use that in a situation. No, they they that, got over him leaving, you know, closing the doors on yeah, them. Yeah, he hasn't. He's the yeah, one Yeah, he has them, but they don't give a crap. Mm -hmm. They're already done with that. Yeah. Now, if he's a threat to them, that's Rick will kill him. Yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> but yeah. No, I can't believe you guys didn't realize he shot the guy. Didn't he that. straight up shot the dude. I mean, I thought that he would. I guess I just didn't notice. I that. mean, it makes more sense. It makes yeah. more sense. Yeah, you straight like she got she was man. He's like because I thought that's why. That's why he turns around. He's like boom, right in his face. I promise you, it's in his face. Because <laughs> this Rick doesn't shoot anything but your face <laughs> with that big old man. pistol. Of his. Right. Yeah. All right. See well, now a new perspective. Now, for it's, you a, on it's, that a, now it's an even better <laughs> season finale. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh no, that's why I like it, because if he didn't do that, man, I would think it's even a worse sense of an eye. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Man, that's pretty much it. So, we all pretty much liked it. Yeah, it was I a really good scene. liked yeah. it. I mean, but this is kind of what The Walking Dead does. Like, they give, I mean, for the past, I'd say, three seasons or so, it is a mostly a slow going season with a lot of different people's stories kind of drawn out and then you get like the big bang finale see but i felt like the beginning of the season was not like dragging at all i felt like a lot just happened for during those first it happened episodes. right off the bat and then there was nothing 
See, my problem because after the the mid season is when it started right. becoming like dragged out. Yeah, I mean, or the, beginning of the, the beginning of the season was a little a, a little slower than I would have liked, um, but after after the mid season, it definitely was just dragged. Yeah. I guess just because they since they split up the seasons, I always I personally have trouble remembering where the seasons start and whatnot. So I guess right. I was considering the mid season the season. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree uh, with that. Mid season definitely dragged out, but the beginning sh- writers but the and be- their strikes. But the beginning, yeah. like when the season started, I mean, you had them coming out terminus, completely destroying terminus. The mm-hmm. next episode was. Um, what was it? Them finding uh, the church, the church, and then dealing with that, and then Bob uh, getting bitten, and mm-hmm. then Terminus guys getting Bob, and then after that, it's like them killing the Terminus guys in the church. Like there was a lot going on. Right. There was a lot going on in the beginning. But regardless, good season finale. Good season finale. Transition. Transition. Oh. Um, let's talk about agents. Agents, man, you go <laughs> ahead because I won't lie, I already forgot. Oh, that's right, Sky was, getting was put the, in the, it was the, in the hiding spot. It was, um, it was the conflict finally. Um, it was cool. I, I like. Here's the thing. I liked uh, Sky using her power at the end there. I hope. I personally great. think Bobby will not say anything about that guy shooting a bullet at her, uh, but she won't say anything against Sky where that guy will, um, whatever his name is. Um, what else? What else? Colson being out and meeting up with that guy. That was awesome. I like that. Like randomly, he's like, he acted like he didn't know where oh, this right dude was. End. But he's like, I know exactly where he is. Cause I met up with him drinking, uh, drinking whatever. I, I like, I liked the entire, I like the entire thing. I really like the entire exchange, how it all came together. Mm-hmm. The, I get, I get what happened and how this real shield came about right i understand it right it, so they were even you know they weren't hydra they were a group within shield of shield agents loyal shield agents right, right. that thought that maybe secrets weren't necessarily the best way to run the operation right apparently so that's, kinda, that's the, that's that's the route the, they're going and i still you know i told you my half i i don't care for that so i i get it i get it and, and you know in a it's a big corporation basically and in a big corporation you're gonna have people who disagree with how things are ran that's just how it is so if these people happen to be in a position that you know they could actually change and do something separate so they started to do their own things so i understand how it came about i don't love it um i don't love the concept of yeah, it i was either. really we were really hoping that it would be Hammer. And they Hammer would have been good. I, I would have. They, they were going to bring more. in, you know, they were going to bring in uh, Oscorp or something like that, right. or at least Osborne himself. But uh, nothing, nothing along those lines. Obviously, I liked, um, I liked the entire exchange of, you know, him talking to I forget his name, but Ed, Edward James almost, um, who somebody online <laughs> wrote as A L M O S, like almost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, you're you're dumb. Uh, but it's OLMLS. Uh, but yeah, he was, he was fantastic. I really like his character. Uh, again, he, he's like a, a diehard loyalist that just kind of had this different idea of how to run things. And I dig that. I get it. Um, I really, I like what happened at the end. Mm-hmm. Obviously I love the, the, the sky thing. It was more directed. It was more, it was more concentrated. Sure. It wasn't just like everything starts shaking. Well, I mean, it was she also like did the defensive. little water, but she also that did was the great. little water in That there. was great. She had a moment of peace. I love the fact that she like popped that pe- panel open and it was clearly the Hulk's fist. Yeah. And it was like, she kind of had that moment of like, that's well, one awesome. day, But they also said it later But it was on, after that. They were, right, after that. They were like, the house oh, that really? Built. She's at the house that Banner built? <laughs> yeah, the house that Banner built. It's like, well, yeah, which so is, it'll hold the Hulk. Well, which means it's the house at, from the end of the Incredible, yeah, Hulk, Incredible Hulk, Hulk, which is great. Which is pretty cool. Um, which is funny because that means that Shield then knew because that was just the cabin at that time, right? So which means that they built a house on top of that. I don't know, sure. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I over, overall, I thought it was a good episode. I just like I said, I don't care for this. I get it. They're setting up uh, civil war. You know, one people don't want secrets, and the other people do want secrets. Like the I think, identity. yeah, I think they, I think I this get is what it. it's for. Yeah, I get it. Meh. Man. I think it'll be interesting to see how it ties in because they did say the end of the season will tie in with, with uh, Avengers. Well, sure, somehow. which would well, which would make sense what they're building up here with the whole Civil War thing because 
you know, well, cause at, the at, end at the of, end, the end of it's Stark Avengers, and, yeah. and 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 uh, <laughs> Steve Rogers, you know, talking. Yeah. So you know, it's it, it makes sense, but because see, that's the thing because it's integrated into this uh, cinematic universe. Mm-hmm. It has to be plain because if they went a different route with it, then it wouldn't make sense for that build up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's, you know, a lot of people point that out. It's like it, it's good because it means, you know, Marvel's really thinking ahead. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's bad because it can make some things very, very plain and boring. And Right. They, I mean, they have to know, have this like. Not exciting. It, it, it's like it's like if you watched the, the guys at Google do their paperwork. Right. But then, like, you knew it was, like, you know, if you were there before they bought YouTube, right, right. you knew they were going to buy YouTube, and you're just, like, waiting for that moment while all you're doing is you're watching these guys do that paperwork right. and drop the forms <laughs> to buy YouTube. Basically. So, like, that's that kind of build up to that big, like, moment that you know is going to happen, right? but it's just, like, you got to go through the motion. So, yeah, we've got to set up these two sides because they can't do it. They can't do all of that in yeah, Avengers. Yeah, yeah, and, no, you know, they're going to have those two guys, and obviously they'll, they'll – represent those two sides of it in the movies but on the show they have to have that as well um i like in you know in uh daredevil which is coming out pretty soon yeah i can't wait um they were talking about you know they have little mentions of avenger characters right like, right right no absolutely but yeah overall it, it all ties episode. in i like it i like the episode i love the fact that sky went to the inhumans yeah I'm hoping next episode or the next couple episodes they use that term just so we can kind of get used to it. Yeah. Um, and I really hope that they at least like hint at the royal family or at Adelan or something. Some I think sort they of, will. It seems sort of like hinting. they will. It almost seems like they are. Just because I really having that movie be right before I think it's like right before the last Avengers movie. I believe so uh, too, from yeah. the current slate. Right. I mean, not the last ever. For the love of God. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but having that movie be in that critical position, mm-hmm. there has to be a lot more. No, yeah, like you no, have no. to know more about these characters because no, sure they can't do will. it because they have to be established. Yeah, no, absolutely. The only thing I knew wasn't going to happen was strange. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen. I, re- um, I would have liked that. Sure. I, I do. I would have loved it. Are you kidding me? It would have gave me a boost on this series, but, uh, but yeah, overall good episode. Good episode. So let's talk about, let's talk about arrow first. Because I like Flash. Well, I more. just watched it. Perfect. It took me till uh, today's Monday, by the way, of the next week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it took me till today to finally watch it. So uh, yeah, let's absolutely. Watch I it. liked it, man. I, I don't like how everything's kind of unraveling for him. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Um, you know, you've got uh, uh, Ray Palmer's in the hospital, right? Which sucks. <laughs> they use the nanotech. That was cool. They use the nanotech. Well, you remember what he said? He said the nanotech will go in and make the, yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. small. No, trust me. I know. I and know. I was like, that's how he becomes the real Adam. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. Um, the uh, I like that. I liked I liked the, fra- the fact that they were like, you know, it can't be Quinn. I mean, Queen. What the fuck am I talking about Quinn? <laughs> and it can't be Queen because we've already, you know, we've already gone through this two years ago. Nada. And they're like, no, 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 trust me. And then it's like, Roy, I'm actually the arrow. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. But here's the thing. He would have. I mean. uh, Yeah, he would have, but jerk. Well, yeah, jerk. But at the same time, like he told Oliver and something you'll see if you watch the trailer for. I don't think we're getting it next week. So I think it's. Might uh, be two weeks. Yeah. Might be two weeks again, which is, you know, a whole nother story of its own. But. Uh, you see in the little trailer they put together, he Roy's sitting now in cuffs. Oliver go, gets to sit to visit him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, uh, something about you need to tell him differently. And he's like, I would do anything for you once I told you that you saved my life. And this is me trying to pay you back type of deal. Something like that. So, right. I mean, and, I get and, it. And still, listen. Jerk. Listen. Yeah, jerk. But you know what? I'm happy with it because entire city knowing that he's Arrow... I think if see that's the thing I feel like in the comics maybe I mean in the original comics I don't know how it is now sure sure sure, sure but I feel like back in the day the people did oh okay well I don't know I because like, you gotta understand secret. like Clark Kent is one thing where it's like all right no nah, I'm Superman <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a whole different level I got of disbelief you. I right? Got you, right in the comics Oliver Queen has a a a beard that that's you very, very... cannot you like no two people 
on the planet in the DC universe have that beard. So like Green Arrow, yeah, he's got a mask, but he's got that beard. And then it's like Oliver Queen beard. And you're just kind of like, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that like, being it, it's said, impossible. But, but for... that being said, why would he always put on that crappy little mask? The domino <laughs> mask. I mean, but even in the show, the domino mask doesn't really do yeah, much. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's why I'm hoping they change that. Two, um, I'm hoping that people know and that he could just go. He could go. I mean, that would be cool. I keep mean, the listen, hood, we, but don't always. Well, wear there's it. clearly a team up happening because that's been the big hype for Flash. And uh, even though they said only and one per season, and he's in Rasha Goals. Well, costume. Well, somebody noted. Now I don't know if this is true, but somebody noted that that was going to be a, a paradox, a flashpoint paradox, which would make sense. Um, which would definitely right, because then it's like uh, Wally's going to. Uh, uh, I, I was just reading a thing about where next season they might do Wally. That's right, why. Right, right. But yeah, Bart, yeah. Uh, Barry, that's a big Barry's going right to. I was about to say Bart too. Jesus. Yeah. Barry's going to go back in time and fight and fight. Yeah. Uh, actual thon yeah yep. original thon and uh because of that i think he he might win this right, time right and this is where we're gonna get a sure. different timeline but um, we'll talk about flash in a little bit but uh but i for, think that's why we're gonna get a different timeline sure, with him. sure sure so maybe because of maybe like he does take the racial goal you know thing but, but then changes. when barry goes back right it changes, it changes. okay okay that's I, what I i'm thinking i could see that um, but that being said, I mean, overall, I, here's the thing. There's a lot of drama here. I love the first season. Okay. I love it. I absolutely think it's one of the best seasons of any TV show because I you heard. just get, you get Oliver as a badass right off the bat. First, first episode, he kills like three guys. Ex- except for the, the rampant green TV, like, Look, it was just like green border everywhere. Right, 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 right. That was really upsetting me because they were doing a lot of news coverage stuff because it was like, oh, the hood. Right, right. Whatever they but call otherwise, it. um, so I love that series or that series, that season, mm-hmm. and it was, it was, it felt less drama, more action, more, and I liked that, and that's what really got me hooked. Now, obviously, I'm not saying don't you know get rid of the drama, but it feels like there's just so much this season with with dragging out the girl's death. With dragging out this thing with uh, uh, the captain or whatever his name, is, Captain Lance, and and just all that dragging around, and then uh, uh, Ross Al Ghul's daughter's drama and all that crap. Ooh. I said it, yeah, I said Ross. Oh, um, because I just watched him say it, like the whole time in that. He episode. said, but it's funny because like Rache stands there, he's like, "I need you to take the title of Rache Al Ghul," right? and he goes back and he's like, "Ross wants me to take the title of Ross Al Ghul." Like, I know. Saw him say um, it. But yeah, so that being said, um I don't know. I, I hope they I hope they kinda tone down a little bit on the drama next season. I don't I mean this Well it depends season, on I'm which not... way they go. There 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 was talk there was talk of a suit change. Right. You know, there's probably gonna be they're talking about a spin off series. Now I don't know what the spin off series is gonna be. Well, I think, think it's for Palmer. Well, I'm thinking it's Brave and the Bold. I'm thinking it's gonna be Palmer with like guest star. Palmer, guest star. Okay, I'm but once again, more. Palmer originally they said like we're building him up in this se- series. I think to get I think his own. if it was just a Ray Palmer the Adam series, I think that would fucking bomb. Well, it's I mean I just don't think the character is rich enough. Like I've never really liked the Adam outside of like having a pivotal role sure. in a in a sure. JLA story or whatever. No, no, no. I mean I get like, it. Like he's a great tool. Right. I don't really like his character. But see, he's I, like he's like Ant Man. Well, no, like sure, Ant Man as a movie is going to be really interesting for me because like it's really hard for that character, in my opinion, to, to hold his own. No, I space. agree with you. <laughs> and like I said, even the trailer for me is like one of those trailers that I'm second guessing because as much as I love all Marvel, mm-hmm. uh, well, all, most all Marvel, uh, the TV show. <laughs> Let's be serious. I, I'm not a big oh, fan oh, of the TV. Oh, oh. Um, uh, you know, Ant Man's one of those things, so that's why I'm thinking. But I feel like I don't know. So I've seen Palmer, and I feel like him, Palmer, can be a good show mm-hmm. with him being the Adam because he's got the same. Well, he's the thing is, is he's <laughs> funny. He's got the charisma. He's 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 he keeps cracking those jokes. I feel like it can be more of a uplifting series. You know, Flash. Don't get me wrong. Flash is definitely a lot lighter than mm-hmm. than Arrow. Um, but I feel like we can get that really well also with Palmer's story. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you know, with, with guests popping in here and there. So that would be cool. 
uh, because uh, Hot Girl got a is getting a show, right? Because uh, somebody said she she got greenlit. Hot Girl? Am I thinking that right? They cast Hot Girl. They cast for. Hot Girl. I thought for Supergirl. Oh well, that's a possibility. That I is. thought they cast. Hot we should Girl. talk about that next time. We um, but yeah, regardless. Uh, I think it could work. I think it could work. Uh, just because I like, I personally like, I I enjoy Brandon Routh and playing Palmer, and I just enjoy Brandon Routh as an actor. Unfortunately, his Superman movie didn't wasn't so hot. But even though, oh, even though, terrible. but even though it was awful, I think we both agree that we still enjoyed it, even though it was awful. I mean, I enjoyed it. I'll put it to you this way: I like Daredevil more. Right, I got but you. But Daredevil was a bad movie. Right, like, I'm the first you. guy to tell you right. Daredevil was bad. Movie. But I mean, but I got nothing against uh, Brandon Routh, so I hope, I, I really do hope he gets his own show, and we see, like, just a bunch of people like Firestorm jumping in once in a while, seeing Flash jump in. Yeah, because they've got they've got in. like a decent show, decent yeah. stable of characters now that you can bring in. Like we have the Huntress. The Huntress is a character that's yeah. available in this universe. Yeah. We have uh, now we have you know we have Flash, we have Arrow, we have. Uh, Arsenal, we have... Yeah, we have Arsenal, too. I keep Firestorm, forgetting. Firestorm, right? we have... Um, Black Canary. Yeah, we, we have Black Canary, of course. Um, uh, the guy that trained her for a little bit. Wildcat. Wildcat. I think there is enough here mm -hmm. to go towards a Justice Society. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Absolutely. Because Wildcat's Justice Society, Black Canary's Justice Society. There is an Adam on the Justice Society. So it's not... Ray Palmer, but it doesn't matter. Sure, I got you. you. Can live with that. Yeah, I uh, there is that. a again a, a flash on the Justice Society, so I think they should definitely go towards a Justice Society show. Maybe not a show, but at least a like kind of culmination. Ups. Yeah, yeah a culmination ups. of some sort, sort, like a three show mm -hmm. crossover. It'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. I do. Once again, uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, just a little less on the drama, but otherwise, I I thought it was fun. It definitely could have uh, used a little more action. I think a lot yeah. of these, now now that we're you know three seasons in. There's a lot going on, and we really, like, we know the action will come, so it's like, all right, we can drag out, you know, we have a little more talk here. Right. A little more drama, a little more discussion. Um, also, just, like, kind of a quick note. Do you remember when Diggle was going to quit the team three episodes ago? Yeah, but then... Before it all. Then like, the wife convinced him not to. No. Yeah, she, like, literally talked him, like, this is... This is what you do. You change. You're gonna change the city with Oliver. Like she straight up like convinced him. I not swear to. though that he ended up saying no, no, no. I'm quitting. And then like he came back to the cave and then just like popped off. And then he could just never got around to it. No, no, no. She straight up convinced him not to quit. Man, I am just missing. Like, everything. You are missing everything, my man. man uh, but yeah, stuff. overall, it's good. I can't wait to see next week's episode. I think it's we're gonna <laughs> see. Honestly. I'm a little worried for next week's episode. I think, or n next week, in two weeks, uh, I think we're going to see a little bit more drama, actually. Well, because now we're going to see... Because now we, we got to see... The whole thing with Arsenal. Felicity. Well, that and Arsenal, Arsenal and the whole thing with Felicity. Right. And like, yeah. 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 But, good episode. Good episode. That's about all I can <clears throat> say for that. Uh, good. Flash, right? That's what we got? That's, that's yeah, that's Flash. That's basically it. So, Flash... It was a good show. I mean, good episode. I really liked it. I actually did really enjoy it. Um, man, I couldn't tell you right off the bat who the bad guy was, though. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I was trying to figure Pondering. it out. I was trying to figure it out who the bad guy was in this one. Um, oh, Trickster. Yeah, Trickster. That's right. Trickster, Trickster. And that was actually executed perfectly. Yeah, really good. I, I love Mark Hamill's voice acting. Mainly because he always sounds the same. You know what? But it always sounds I, fantastic. I wanted, I wanted to say this. I was thinking where that guy's been since, you know, the movies, since... Uh, and then you realize he played the Joker for, like, five years on that, that many anime series? Yeah, absolutely. Right. I understand that. But, I mean, besides that, this is a guy that's been on screen. Not yeah. a guy that's just done sure, voice. Sure, sure. Been on screen. And been on a very popular screen. Yeah. Uh, so, I was like, where... You know, is this guy ever going to do... Can he come back and do something like this, right? And then I watched him as Trickster, and I was like, if he didn't do Joker, you know, the fact that he did Joker's voice, I'm like, 
he literally just portrayed Joker, but as the trickster. I'm saying that's that's he the, literally portrayed that's, Joker that's the as the trickster. But I listen, love but Mark worked, Hamill. I love Mark Hamill's voice acting, but he's always the Joker. Like I'm sorry, he's always Joker. You play Darksiders, play five minutes of Darksiders. As soon as the Watcher shows up, tell me it's not the Joker. Right, right. I sat there and I was like, oh, it's the same dude that did the voice of the Joker. Like that's <laughs> that's all I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> Like every time he'd show up, I'm like, he sounds like the Joker, <laughs> right? And and dude, like he played the character as the Joker. He was menacing. Yeah, the, trick, he the was... trickster. I don't think was ever that kind of loopy, right? So that was really cool. Um, and also, did you did you love that little Star Wars throwback where he's like, "I'm your father." Yes, and I, I was like, love, oh, I that's laughed. Great. I'm that not was gonna so lie. great. Not even just great, but I was like, I, I chuckled. I ch- I was like, yes, they did. Just that now was great. That, that was happened. a fantastic. <laughs> that was a fantastic moment. And he's like, you see, because I'm your father. And I was but, like, oh, but yes. at the same time, once again, it was like Joker telling his kid that he's his father. <laughs> and that's kind of because even the, the way he did it, not just the voice, but the way he said it, he was like, <laughs> like you yeah. just did. Like he's that's, got this like menacing way of telling exactly. him that he's it's, his father. It's, it's it's one of those things that it's really good, but the kicker of it is like you're expecting it to be someone else because of the way it sounds. Yeah, absolutely. like he's that voice that he does is fantastic. Yeah. But it worked the best with a character for, what, seven years? Yeah, easily. Oh, my God. And, yeah, seven years. And I'm sorry, like, seven years of that voice attached to a single character, really hard for me to disassociate it and put it to somebody else. No, so. I agree with you 100%, man. But and otherwise, I like the episode. I like the buildup of, like, hey, we're finding more about Wells. Yeah. I love the backstory about Wells. I It finally makes yeah, sense. Yeah, like, it makes why he's Thawne. Because right. they were like, because when he was, you know, running and losing his speed... It's like boom, thawing, and he takes his mask off. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Right. And then he does the whole genetic yeah. transfer, however that thing, worked. whatever the that is, whatever that. I was. have no idea what that means, like how that works, whatever. But he's like me. My name is. And he like acting like he doesn't know. Like it's not even like that would be hard. Like you were just in a car crash. Right, but he wanted to act. I guess. Like I he was know. just in a car crash. Clearly, he wasn't in a car, so right. he had to convince them right. like he's just getting out of this wreckage. Uh, <laughs> I like but yeah, that. overall, I enjoyed that. Uh, I liked, I loved actually. Uh, I loved that we've seen obviously Flash phase through things with his hand, like vibrate stuff. But no. I no, not really. Have no, we? this is the first time. This that first... was the whole. That was the whole right, thing right. about it. So we know he goes fat. But and like, he like ta- the way I... he told it to him. I'm like he's I'm like after this, well, if he doesn't thing. realize. Well, yeah, yeah. He that this guy's a speedster. But like when he got that bomb on him, and, run, then, run, run, he, run, run. and then he was yeah. Well, that was great. That was once again uh, Joker. Um, but just him running that fast and then trying to vibrate, just like on the TV shows and the stuff cartoons, like that, yeah. the cartoons, and just. Well, watching him do that on screen, on live, I was like... It was interesting how they visualized it, though, because it looked like they just kind of did this, like, wavy thing. Right. And it was, I was like, I'm like, I kind of like that on the cartoon better. Right, Because it, like, having that, like, multiple, like, you know, multiple flash thing go through stuff. I like that better, but it just, I mean, it it had to play out the way it did. Yeah, I mean... It was great, though. Yeah. And it, but it was a clear dead giveaway for, for Wells, because he's like... Oh, yeah. The way he explained it to me, the way he described it, the wind, you know, the wind hitting my face, the the, the power, the adrenaline... Well, here's the thing. If he didn't say that at the end, I would have slapped somebody. I was saying, I'm saying... Dude, he straight up, like, convinced you that he was feeling that right now. (laughs) I'm saying, I'm saying, he knew (laughs) that... Also, he used the term speed force to him. Like... You just come up with that, Doc? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just come up with that? Come on, man. Like, I, I really like that. I like I like the fact that Barry's like, I don't know how, but he's a speedster. Yeah. He's the re- he's the reverse Flash. Like, he, he came to that conclusion, finally. Mm-hmm. Um, Cisco didn't have to die for it. Although, in the trailer, again, there's another moment where he's like, hello, Cisco. Just like in the last time where he died. Once again, though, Paradox, uh, the... The Flashpoint Paradox. That could be part of that. That yeah. could be part of it, right. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's there's a couple things coming up that should prove this season to be... I mean, you got to remember, this is the first season still. A lot has happened this season. We're this gonna has see, been... We're going to see... Uh, been we're going to see Grodd, very, like, straight up face. That was great. Did that you was see so that? much better. That was so... The trailer for Grodd oh showed, showed his face. That was so much better oh than what I saw God. at the end of that one episode where he was kind of far away. That looked so lumbering, and I was like, bad CG. I was kind of mad. But then I saw this. Oh, my goodness. I'm so, I'm I so excited. I think they're going to knock it out of the that's gonna be, like Grodd's going to be fantastic. For, for instance... But that's the other thing. You have Grodd, so you have Grodd now. You have Reverse Flash. You have Grodd, Reverse Flash. Trickster. 
Trickster. You've you have seen, um, uh, the Rose cold, Gallery. Cold, cold and um, Heat Wave. Right. Um, and Weather Wizard. Weather Wizard. Yeah. So that's seven. Or that's uh, six. That's six. Oh, like and uh, Golden Glider. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they named her, but I don't she, think they the named sister. her. Right. Right. Golden Glider. Um, Did we miss one? I feel like we missed one. We might have missed one. I mean, there was there was the, still, the original weather. There was the original weather. Listen, he died. regardless. Plus, uh, plus, wow. on top of that, you've got the 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 girl who plays Caitlin, uh, saying that next season she might turn into Killer Frost. We've and seen that's, Firestorm. Yeah, Firestorm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking bad guys. Sure, but uh, I mean, but she's talking about she might turn into Killer Frost, and I'm like, what exactly does that mean? Because Killer Frost is psycho, and she's pretty much like centered now. She's. She knows that the That's the scientist okay. chick, right? Mm-hmm. How would they play that? Like, off? I don't even know how they're gonna play that off because she's she's fine now. Like, she was a little fine. She was she's, a little. She's healthier than anybody. I'm saying. On that I'm, show. saying I'm saying <laughs> she's the least like traumatically because like now she knows that her guy is fine, her fiance right. is fine, and you know he he's out getting help he needs. So she's she's centered. So what is gonna make her go nuts? Because oh Killer Frost, dude, is insane. Right, like Killer Frost I is got you. nuts. I so I don't even know how they would do that. It's gonna be interesting because she she was just doing she was doing an interview I guess maybe at WonderCon uh-huh. and uh, she had, she dropped a little hint that, that that might be happening and they were they were dropping hints that Wally might happen, but obviously since we don't have a uh, a West bloodline so much, the, the Wally has to happen somehow. Well, we'll we're gonna get plus he's from the future he would have to be from the future sure i mean we're gonna get uh because west is the last name of uh iris iris right iris and Joe, yeah. um so it's gotta be her brother or her her brother or sister that's the only thing well, that... isn't he their love child or they're like no no no. he's his nephew nephew, nephew. he's her nephew too okay yeah i guess we haven't seen that anything of west on that like i don't know like i don't know so far as i don't recall them ever saying that she's got a brother or sister listen regardless we need to see wally that's gonna be great though the whole the whole time it's, thing, it's, there's know, no reason for me I'm to saying, not see wally i'm saying it's gonna and have, i want to see little kid wally <laughs> i'm saying it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be one of those things where he's gonna come back in time and Maybe he's like her cousin or something. They something. might they might they might play it out around. I mean, a regardless, bit. cousin nephew. But he's gonna, I'll he's get over show, that little difference. Yeah, he's you know? gonna show up, and if he shows up in that silver outfit that they've got for him, whew, that's gonna be killer. I've never well, seen the silver be outfit. Because oh. wasn't Wally and well, you'll see it on the screen and, uh, when you watch this video. Wasn't. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, but wasn't Wally and. Um, Wally was the one on the Justice League show, so that was the he was the Flash. Right. He was also Kid Flash before that, but in the New Fifty Two. He's Kid Flash, but he's got a crazy awesome silver okay. Flash suit. Okay, because Wally God, was so also good. in Young Justice. Didn't he yes. come back? Yeah, in yeah. the brownish suit with the goggles. I mean, that's the kid. That's the Kid Flash suit. Right. That's, that's so that Wally. was Wally. That's Wally. Okay, so that's the only suit I've seen. Well, besides I, when he was he's grown, the Flash. right? Yeah, when he was grown Flash. Flash. Yeah, yeah, that's Wally. But yeah, no, he, he's definitely he becomes the Flash. But in the New Fifty Two. Be, because the character, I, mean, I want the kid. I want the, I want the kid Flash Wally. Even if they do the you silver want, suit, I still you want, want a the teenager. Kid. I want a teenager. What? Yeah, man. So he's got, then he's got to be her cousin. Yeah, because okay he, he would have to be now. Right. True. He would have to be now. Because then you got to remember, he's basically now. Granted, the one on Smallville, which is if you guys watch Smallville, that was Bart. That was Bart. Okay, I was, but that I was, was like, but, but but it's funny because that, that was kind of the amalgamation of sure, all three. Right. He was Bart, but he was also Flash. Right. So right. he wasn't, you know. I want to see Kid Flash. Yeah. I want to see Young Wally. Because I think, that would be because because I, I think if Wally came back at, from the future, that would make him more like Bart because Bart's from the future. Bart's okay. Bart's. Uh, Barry's grandson. Oh, okay. Grandson or great grandson? I don't know. He's from the year like. 3, oh, so 000. Wally's not supposed to be from the future. No, no, no. Wally is his sidekick. That's interesting because in Young Justice they did him. He was a sidekick. You're thinking of you're thinking, thinking of Bart. Bart. I'm thinking you're of Bart. Thinking Man, of Bart with, I'm the, confusing. with the white and red. Yes, the yes, white and red. That's Bart. Bart. That's Bart from time from the future. But the the young Young Justice. The, that's the, right. The, the My kid Flash. KF that started the, the show. Guy. Almost, I was like, "Did we really hit that timer?" No. Um, K- KF that started on that show, Kid Flash, uh, that was that's Wally. Okay. Because Flash is the Flash that's on the Justice. Right, League right, right. Sure, sure. 
Okay. I really so, want them to do a season three. That was a great show. Anyway, I really like this yeah, episode of Flash. Yeah, uh, I, I can't it. wait for more. Oh can't my wait god, the they've season. done so much. So here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping mm-hmm. this season's so good, like Arrow. Okay, first season. I'm hoping they don't dramatize it like Arrow, and then like, well, season they two really of can't, Arrow was that, still good. Though. They really can't though. That's the thing is, is Flash because of his power. Everything happens so fast. There's True. so much action. True. That regardless, yeah, yeah. even if it's drama, you can have it ten can, minutes of can, drama, right. but it then the next five minutes is just gonna be right. him running around beating right. dudes Absolutely. up. So like, Absolutely. it doesn't matter. You can have half an episode of drama, and the other half is just gonna be fighting. Yeah. Because that's how it works. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Well, but no, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Yeah. It was a good episode. I like, I like it. it. Can't wait for two weeks. All right. Close it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys have any comments, please leave them at the bottom. You know, if you have your opinions and stuff like that, we like seeing that stuff. Make sure to subscribe so you can be caught up on our new videos coming out. If you want to, hit that like button. Make sure to visit t3gtech.com for any tech news that we'd like to, well, kind of write up. We're still working on that. We're, and, we're uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I've been uh, Full Throttle. Cerebro. Later. <laughs>